This is Miami All Access. Uh, obviously tied there at the end. What and there was a timeout. What was discussed during the uh, timeout? Did Eddie's name come up some, somewhere? Or uh, yeah, we put G on him because G's probably our best on-ball defender, and he's been bothering us penetrating the lane. So G was guarding him. I thought he did a good job attacking the paint. Uh, number eleven was my man to box out, and I missed him. It's not a winning play. So that's what you get. Um, kind of dug a hole there a little bit in, in the first half, although it, it was like four points. Uh, uh, kind of a sloppy game uh, with the turnovers, don't you think? Yeah, the, fir the first half is kind of really what uh, kind of dug ourselves a hole early on. And uh, I mean, that, that was probably the real reason we lost. I mean, everybody's going to look at the last play, but the first half we dug ourselves a hole. We weren't sharp. We didn't take care of the ball. We had a lot of turnovers. So uh, when you want to win games, you got to have 40 minutes of consistent basketball. So that's something we got to work on. You were five for 11 uh, from uh, the field today. Uh, any uh, was it to got a few more shots than uh, maybe in you know a recent game or two? Uh, any conscious uh, you know uh, desire to you know get more get more shots up or? Uh, uh, not necessarily. I just kind of. I kind of take what the defense has given me. And today I was able to get a lot of good looks, I thought. I didn't think I took too many bad shots. So they were clean looks, shots that I normally make. You know, I was just in the flow of the offense, I thought. So uh, when I'm getting those kind of looks, I'm confident in myself that I'm going to make them. I missed a few that I should have made. Uh, they'll fall next time, I'm sure. Chris, six offensive rebounds, 11 total. Um, Probably your best game overall. I, you know, I know if you, in a losing effort, it doesn't feel so good. But you, do you feel like you're starting to get a little comfortable here? Uh, is that the kind of game we can anticipate seeing? Uh, yeah, that's definitely a game you should uh, anticipate seeing. Uh, I'm definitely starting to get a, a, a flow of the game. You know, coach is just trying to find, you know, the right players, you know, who he wants to, to start off with. And uh, I've been, you know, improving and showing myself that I, I should be out there. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, trying to be a double-double guy, energy guy, as long as I was subtly, you know, just bring the energy up and, you know, just making it exciting. You'd be feeling pretty good after hitting those two free throws there and uh, <laughs> to tie the game. Um, yeah, what, what, were you, what was your thought process there? Uh, my thought process always, uh, it's not my first time I've been in a clutch situation like that. Just, you know, um, you treat it almost like practice. You know, practice, you, you know, you take those shots. I shoot those shots every day. We shoot free throws every day before and after practice. So to me, it's just like I block everything out and just concentrate on the goal, and that's just putting the ball in the basket. You guys were remarkably good on free throws today, which was a problem earlier in the year. It, it's almost like that's another piece of the puzzle. Uh, do you feel that way, like you're, you know, you're solving one problem and then you move on and solve the next one? Maybe this time it was the turnovers because you had 11 in the first half and only five or six in the second half. So, so that's an improvement there too. Do you feel like that's like you're you're putting pieces of the puzzle together? Yeah, I think so. I mean, we knew that coming into the season with this many new guys that it was going to be a process to be a great team. We weren't just going to be great to start the season off. So, uh, you know, as you take each game on, you learn something new about your team. And, you know, each day of practice you want to address the, the problems that we're having. So we've, we've put a lot of emphasis on free throw shooting because that's something that you need to win games. And uh, today we were able to knock them down, but we had a few other breakdowns in other areas. So those are areas that we got to focus on. And uh, next game, Wednesday, we got a big one. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll try mm -hmm. to get this in the back of our minds, get it out, and then uh, focus on an important one Wednesday, one that means a lot to us. And add on to that, you got to keep moving forward. You know, uh, we take steps. It's a learning process, just like Sully said. New team. Uh, we're just building, just concentrating on getting better every day. We know we're not perfect, but why not strive to be? So. Uh, on that, we just we taking a day at a time and make sure everybody's locked in and that you know everybody's focused because uh, at the end of the day, it's all about winning and that's what we're trying to do. You guys are uh, seven games into the season now and you've <laughs> been together probably a lot over the last uh, uh, week. Has how are we coming as far as uh, a lot of new faces and and putting things together, getting to know each other, uh, you know, on the court and everything. 
Uh, well, getting to know each other was never difficult. I think the coaches have been working on finding a lot of different combinations to kind of see how we click in the flow of the games. So a lot of times we have Chris and Logan out there, sometimes Caleb and Logan, sometimes Caleb and Chris. So it's just a, try to find a combination to uh, complement the veteran guards that we have. So I think it's, you know, it's been a process. Things are starting to click a little bit better. As you can see, Chris had a big game today. Logan had a couple big ones in uh, the last, the previous two games. So, I mean, it's something that's coming along well. I think that uh, as the season progresses, we're going to be able to find a lot more consistency in the lineups that we're trying to put together. Chris, do you feel like there's, uh, you know, potential here uh, to get the the inside game going, uh, you know, production-wise? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a process. You know, we're just taking a day at a time. I don't really worry about shots. I just worry about, you know, how can I help my team? Because I know at the end of the day, I'll get, I'll get shots just like Sully would get shots. All of us going to end up getting our shots, but we're just trying to find the flow of everybody first. I mean, on paper, it's just it's, it's really whatever on paper, but that's, that's not my main concern. My main, my main concern is only the win. Yeah, I was thinking as a, as a group. Oh, know? yeah, as a group, yeah, as a group. We, we'll get more paint touches. We just got to keep getting better and just keep fighting. It'll, it'll, it'll come along. Any questions? All right. First of all, you know, congratulations to Elon. Um, I've had a, I had an opportunity to watch them uh, play uh, two times over in Cancun, and and I know Matt a little bit, their coach. You know, just through the years of being around and coaching, and you know, it's interesting as you watch them. They always, you know, seem to find a way to stay involved, to stay involved in games, and and they do a terrific job of just, you know, never panicking and giving in. And even when you saw them down seven late in the game, they go through the one three one. They still stayed solid and, and still executed. Um, I thought uh, in the first half of the game, we weren't particularly good at all. Uh, their, their energy was much better than ours. Um, their execution was much better. And consequently, I want to say I looked up, it was about 10 minutes ago, we had 11 points. That's a lot of pressure that you're putting on your uh, defense when you don't take care of the ball and, and do the little things. But I thought we came out in the second half, and I thought we had uh, much better energy, and you know we were able to hang around, and then finally we're able to take the lead. Uh, Sullivan gets on a little mini run, and then of course Giovanni McKnight gets on uh, a mini run, and and we're able to stretch at that point, and, and then we've got to, you know, defend it out and and rebound from that point on. And so you know, as you look down the stretch of the game, uh, Eddie was really important to what they were doing. He was able to get to the rim, and then of course late in the game, um, we go we, we have a breakdown, and we go behind a ball screen, and he stops right behind it. And not only does he take the shot, but he makes it. But you know, we still put ourselves, somehow we fought back. Um, we make our free throws, which allows us to stay in the game. And then, of course, uh, Chris Bryan, who did a terrific job on the um, offensive and defensive boards, uh, steps to the free throw line and knocks down two. And so now we've got to defend and get a stop and, and see if the game, see if we can win it in overtime. Um, we used our final timeout to make sure we were set um, defensively and knew what we were doing. And uh, Eddie drives. We, we do a pretty decent job. I have not seen the tape, so I'll say that. Shot goes up, and then is what we always talk about. You always see it late in basketball games. Guys, shot goes up. Guys tend to turn around and watch the ball on the defensive end to see what happens, and you got to go get box outs. And, and uh, kudos to their uh, young man, um, Kevin Blake, who goes to the boards. And, you know, to me, probably one of the more impressive things about that is I don't know how many minutes Kevin Blake played, but what did he play about? Eight minutes, is that right? Kevin Blake plays eight minutes in the basketball game, but yet when his opportunity is there, he goes to the he goes to the boards and he gets an offensive rebound. So it tells me a lot about him um, and their team as a group, and that they were continuing to be locked in and still, you know, competing. We were just talking about it a little bit. There was, a, according to this, there were they had six second chance chance points and. Only had four, um, but uh, I guess uh, timing is everything on that. I mean, overall, you'd probably be fairly happy with that. But right, well, and the, and the sixth one hurt us. But you know, I'll say to you, early in the game. I think there's three different possessions, three different times we get an offensive rebound, we're right around the bucket and we can't score. We don't go up strong enough to score. And, and so for me, and, and quite frankly, he gets an offensive rebound and he wins the game, but I do not go back to that play because there were so many plays throughout the course of the game that led to that moment. 
that if we do what we're supposed to do, or if we're if we're solid and and do those things, then you eliminate it. You know, the easiest thing to do is to look at the play that won it. Obviously, that's the you know, Mr. Blake's the hero and everything else. But, you know, what are the plays that led up to it? Where were our breakdowns? What are the things that we didn't get done? And, you know, I thought, you know, quite frankly, in the first half, I thought their posts were more physical than our posts. You know, a couple of times we get in on the posts and they go chest us up and, and we're off balance. You know, we get the offensive rebounds and we can't take it up strong and finish. So, you know, there were a lot of things there that I thought, you know, led to where we are right now. I guess you could say on, on one hand, your free throws kept you in the game with 13 and 14. But then on the other hand, uh, uh, turnovers, uh, there were times when it was uh, taking you out of the, out of the game, uh, maybe especially well, early with yeah. inside guys. And Absolutely. I mean, we have 16 turnovers. Uh, I want to say we had 11 at half. We had 11 at half, so we're, so we're able to cut that, you know, down by more than half, and that's where you want to be. I mean, obviously you'd like to be at nine or somewhere in there, but we're on pace for ten in the game. But, you know, the first half really hurt us and, and affected us, you know, and I talk to our guys all the time. I mean, if you look at our stats, of course, Eric was two to one, and, and Zach was perfect, and, and Chris Bryant was two to one, but we had too many guys with zero assists, two turnovers, zero assists, one turnover, zero assists, three turnovers, zero assists, four turnovers. You can't overcome that. That really makes it hard on you unless you're just an extremely, extremely explosive offensive team and really able to play a lot of possessions to overcome that that number. You know, at the end of the day, if, if, if it was a 100 possession game, that's only 16% loss of ball. I'm not sure how many possessions there were in the game. I'll have to watch the tape. But let's say there's 48. Well, that's 33% of the time that we lose the ball at 16 turnovers. That's too many. That's too many opportunities that you don't have an op uh, a chance to score against the opposing team. Is uh, Livingston OK? Physically? Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I said it from the, you know, we we got to have energy. We've got to be alert. We've got to be locked in, and then of course we've got to be able to rebound the ball. And as the game played out, um, more and more it became a a four guard game for us and and one post. And so um, obviously Chris was rebounding the ball extremely well. So that's where it came from. Speaking of Chris, is that the kind of game you've been waiting? to see from him. I mean, he was just a beast. Well, I mean, I thought boards, I thought his yeah, I thought he, I thought he did a good job on the boards and you know, anytime you play the game, you're going to make mistakes and everything else, but you know, it's it, one of the things I told him is we make um, mistakes of activity. That's that's what you want to do if you're going to do that, make them going 100 miles per hour and a lot of times you can overcome your um, mistakes. Along those lines, are you Optimistic about uh, getting some more production, just in general, not just him, but other others as well, in, on the inside game. Well, I mean, I think as you watch the game, we we've got to be able to get it. Um, you know, you, you look at the game, and and we've struggled, quite frankly, to throw the ball into the post and getting a score. You know, there are times we've thrown it in, and and we may not get a score, or we don't get a foul. I always say either you get it in the paint, you got to get fouled, or you got to get scored, or you got to be able to hold your balance, not turn it over, and um, make the right pass. But you know, it's a lot easier when you can throw it in there and you can take some of the pressure um, off the guards, and you're able to get a foul or a score. So um, we've got to continue working at it. We've got to understand um, who we are or who we are becoming. Um, I think that's still the question: Who are we? That's still part of the um, equation right now, but you know, I don't know how many points did we score in the second half? Jeez, I didn't. Forty-two. So you, you know, you, the the first half was just that's that's just a lot, a lot of pressure on you. You know, we've we've got to you know, and and, and I always say it, we've got to do a much better job defensively, but we've also got to help ourselves out by scoring. You know, we've got to get better defense. We got to rebound. But, you know, if you look at it, I mean, Chris has, Chris has 11 rebounds. And then, you know, the next highest guy is a guard, you know. And so we've got we've to rebound the ball, uh, continue to rebound the ball better. Caleb had three rebounds in 10 minutes, so he did a pretty decent job on the boards. But we had three turnovers out of him. So, you know, it sort of almost can negate it. Off the top of my head, I think after you came back and got the lead, you might have gotten up by about seven. Seven, yeah, I think so. Particular things that uh, uh, led to it slipping away. 
Well, I mean, they went to the one three one. If we were up fifty six forty nine, I believe is what we were, and come out of timeout, and they go through the one, they go to the one three one, and we end up getting some terrific looks. I mean, our good looks. Sully ends up getting. I want to say they went about four or five possessions in a row. I can't remember, but Sully gets some good looks. Uh, both of them from the far side of the court. One more from the wing. One more from the corner, and we're not able to put them in. But you know. We go to the other end, they're able to drive us. Um, Harrison drives us one time and score and gets to the bucket. And so that's where we had to really get it figured out. We have a breakdown. We help off of Samson, um, which he's a guy you can't help off at all. We help off of him. Um, they kick it out, and he hits a three. Um, and so those are the things. And then next thing you know, they're right there. And like I said, then, of course, we go behind a ball screen. They make they make the three. And so now we put ourselves in a tough situation. And, you know, we got we got lucky there. We got on the um, out-of-bounds play, side OB. They foul us, so no time goes off the clock, and we're able to shoot the free throw. So it gave us an opportunity um, to be back in the game. And then I thought Eric made a good play. And driving it about 20 seconds left, I wanted to go right around, right away. Didn't like the flow, and he dumps it off to Chris, and Chris gets fouled. And so now we just got to make the free throws, which we did, and now we've got to defend and rebound. And that's what we didn't do. That's it. Okay. Thanks.